Good morning, everyone. You're watching Barnstable this morning. I'm Sarah Colvin, and joining me in studio today, all the way from Provincetown, the new executive director of Helping Our Women, Nancy Lynch. Nancy, good morning, and, and thank you so much for joining us here. Good morning, Sarah. Thank you for having me. So tell me a little bit about Helping Our Women. What does your organization, uh, what is it all about? So Helping Our Women was formed back in 1993. It sort of came about because the AIDS support group had been around for, um, you know, over a decade. Mm -hmm dealing with the epidemic in the 80s and in the early 90s a local woman came down with cancer and she um, some of her friends got together and decided wow there's really nothing for her so they got together much like you know uh, sitting around a kitchen table and decided that they would form an organization and in 1993 they became a 501c3 and our mission is to serve women with um, chronic illnesses, life-threatening diseases, and debilitating conditions. And we do that through a variety of ways. Um, we obviously support empowerment, um, advocacy, referrals. We also provide direct services to them. We have support groups. We help them fill out any of the benefit programs that they might be entitled to. Really anything that we can do to help them manage their lives and take charge of their own health as much as they can. Absolutely, and I would think that for women on the Outer Cape, uh, who it, it may be a little uh, trickier to get to some of the, the healthcare services that we have here in Barnstable, to have a network like that, and to have somewhere they can go, is of even more importance. Especially, and I, I'm glad you brought that up, because we have a very robust transportation program. So we have between 20 and 30 volunteers. We, really, we only have two staff, myself, the executive director, and our client advocate, office administrator, Donna Zecker, and she manages the volunteers and as I said, we have between 20 and 30, and they provide transportation for our clients to medical appointments. We get them all around town, all around Cape Cod, and then also to the CCRTA system and the Boston Hospital bus. And then for um, the majority of our clients, we have about 200, it always hovers at about that mark. Um, for those who have to go into Boston, let's say they have cancer, the majority of our uh, clients do have some form of mm. cancer and they can't take any other transportation. We are fortunate enough to be given um, free airline tickets from Cape Air and so if they have to go into chemo eight times in a row they get free tickets no questions asked and they get right into their appointments. So we're really proud and it's a very very important part of what we do. And they can go right from the Provincetown Airport to Boston. That's correct? right absolutely. So it makes it uh, even more convenient to not have to even even get in the car. Just totally. Get quickly right to yes. the airport. So so um, it, talk a little bit more uh, about the organization again. If people are looking for these services, is there kind of a, a qualification that they have to go through? Um, to, how, how do people get connected with the services? So we obviously try to do a lot of outreach. It housed very well known on the Outer Cape and um, uh, throughout all of Cape Cod, but obviously mostly at Outer Cape. And um, if they would like to avail themselves to our services or just really want to know what we're about, usually it's word of mouth, and they come in and sit down, and we do have an intake process. In order to become a client, really they only have to qualify by having one of those either chronic illnesses or debilitating conditions or um, diseases. And so there is a uh, there are forms that they fill out with our client advocate. Mm -hmm. And they sign a release form that allows us to contact their doctor or their health care provider just to confirm that they do, in fact, have that particular condition. And um, other than that, once that's done, then they let us know, really, they drive the bus. They let us know what they're looking for, what their needs are. We do a very in-depth assessment with them. And once we get a really whole picture of who they are and what they're looking for, then we can do really uh, two things. We can avail them, uh, we can make make our service av services available to them. And then if there are things that they need that we can't do, we're very well connected to a lot of the other social service organizations on Cape Cod, and we would refer them out. So um, that's how the process starts. And there's no financial threshold except for one of the programs that we do offer is a financial stipend program. Mm -hmm. And uh, women do need to meet the um, federal poverty level. Our standard is 210%. So for a single person, that's this year, it goes up every year, it's uh, 24,500 something. 
and, Great. and that would and they get fifty five dollars a month to help pay for copays, prescription copays, medical copays, things of that nature, all kinds of things. Sure, and, a, and certainly a, a big help. How wide of a geographic area do you serve? Do you serve the entire Cape uh, beyond that, or just uh, the outer upper Cape area? We serve Cape, outer rather. Cape, so we serve East Ham, Wellfleet, Truro, and Provincetown. Wonderful. So Nancy, um, you recently uh, got a, a grant um, to kind of extend these services to do something uh, that that is called a home share uh, project. And tell me a little bit about this home share, because this, I think, especially housing here on the Cape, not easy on the Outer Cape, really not mm -hmm. easy. So tell me a little bit about uh, how this home share program works. Sure. So um, I moved down here uh, after spending 15 years in Vermont, and there's a very successful home share program. In fact, one of the very first started. It's been around for 30 years. There's 65 home share programs all around the country. So one of the first things I did when I came here was attend a housing summit. And I heard about the crisis and I immediately thought home share. And so um, after talking with people, etc., I wrote a grant to the Chenna uh, 27, which is the um, community health network area and Barnstable County happens to be area 27. They're located all over the state mm -hmm. and they give out grants and the Cape Cod Foundation was sort of the conduit to release those grants. And so what this program will do, it's a pilot project for one year. We're only going to be going into Provincetown and Truro and we're doing it in three phases. The first phase is we are collecting all of the best practices from the 65 programs around the country as well as the national clearing houses that have been around forever and collect all the best practices. And then um, in phase two, we're going to take all of those best practices, which we've already done a lot of that work before we even wrote for the grant, and um, localize those documents, if you will, sure. and specialize them for our particular area, because we're only going to start, as I said, in Provincetown and Truro. And then the third phase, which is going to begin in the early fall, will be to actually begin the match program. So let's just say that you happen to either own a home or live in a home that has extra rooms. And if you own the home, perhaps you only owe taxes. And so you're not really looking for money, right. but you have four extra bedrooms and you could use some help with lawn mowing, maintenance, rides, things like that. So it can be done in two, one of two ways, either a barter system or through the home secret paying cash. So as the home provider, you make the decision on what what you're looking for, mm. the kind of people you're looking for, and what I mean by that is a single person, a family, etc. And as a home seeker, I, I also make a decision upon whether I'm looking to find a home that I need to pay cash for or that I can barter for. And that's really it in a nutshell. And so what we're hoping to do is get it all up and started running. Our goal is to have five matches by the end of the year and we're already beginning to fundraise for year two. Wonderful and so this will be the sort of thing if people are interested you'll I'm assuming you'll start to kind of form a database of homes available and like you said uh, if, if they'll take cash or if they want to you know do some light housework or yard work or, yes. or whatever in exchange for for the room. Um, yes. It really again sounds sounds wonderful and is this will this serve the same clientele as helping our women or a different uh, clientele? It will. This particularly uh, the Chana uh, chooses different audiences and different projects to work on. This year they really wanted to focus on the elderly and the disabled. So we partnered with the Homeless Prevention Council because we're not a housing agent, we're an agency, we're not experts in housing. And um, we, it will help our clients, it will help the clients of the Homeless Prevention Council, and also it's available to anybody in the community. Um, and I, um, in addition to that, the, um, <laughs> That's okay. We can we can move on. Okay. So so if people are interested, Nancy, in, in either if they are watching this program and they say, wow, you know, I've got a few extra rooms in my house, or um, I know someone who could who could benefit from this program, how can they get in touch with the Home Share program to get involved? So right now we're in the very very beginning processes because we just got the grant. So we're e I mean just now getting our phone lines installed. So that information is all going to be up on our new website. I'd say within the month. And the, um, one last thing that I'd like to say about the Home Share program that I think is extremely exciting is that even though we're starting it in the in Provincetown Truro area, we're also contracting with Provincetown TV and they're documenting the entire process. So we will be creating a rep replicable 
toolkit that will be able to go into um, any other area on Cape Cod or beyond because there are no home share programs in Massachusetts, wow. although there are 65 around the country. So this toolkit will include a full-length documentary documenting the entire process that I just explained to you, the three phases. Mm. And also there will be four shorts, one to show to funders to help raise the money to make the program sustainable. One will be for educating home providers and home seekers. One will be a call for volunteers. And the um, other one uh, will, will be client testimonial so that they can talk about what their experience was like going through the entire process for us and how it is once the match is made and how it's going for them. That'll be just wonderful and I'm sure that, that we'll see things uh, like that pop up all across the state. Nancy, yes. I thank you so much for coming in to join us today. Oh, one last time, if people want to know more about helping our women, um, can you tell us the website and, and where you're located and how people can get in touch? Absolutely. So our, our office is located in Provincetown on 34 Conwell Street and our web address is www.helpingourwomen, all one line, Dot org. Our telephone number is 508-487-4357 and you can call that number until we have our home share number um, published and ask any questions that anyone has about any of our programs, any of our services, how we can get out into those areas like East Ham and Wellfleet where we really need to do more outreach mm. and anything that you want to know about how if you have a, a friend or a relative or yourself that you think may be able to avail yourself to our services, we would really love to hear from people. Great. Well, Nancy, again, thank you so much for stopping by. It was great to talk with you. Thank you so much, thank Sarah. You. Nancy Lynch is the Executive Director of Helping Our Women in Provincetown for Barnstable this morning. I'm Sarah Colvin.